guys thanks for joining me again today what i'm doing i'm going to mess around with some virtual tracks on a project that i recorded some time ago on my tascam 688 well, i've moved it over to this here to this 2480 like i say we're going to go ahead and mess around with some virtue tracks and basically create a project within a project so showing you this viewpoint here because what we're going to be messing with here is the in button out button from and to so without further ado let's go ahead and get started now i'm going to listen to this piece here and i'm going to capture just the section that i want using the in and out so let's give it a listen and let me go ahead and capture that here <laughs> I think I caught that there. So if I let it play, it's just basically a jam. Back in the day, we just we weren't playing the metronome or any kind of sync track or anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this all by ear, and hopefully I'll get one right here. Okay, so now we captured that, and you can see the in and the out mark there. Now what I want to do. Come up to, oh, wrong one here, track. We want to do region copy. So we go into there. And it has our in and out all, all marked there. And since this one wasn't done to any kind of sync track or metronome or anything, it's all by ear. So this doesn't mean a whole lot to me. If you were running sync track, then uh, you could probably cut using uh, these measurements here, either your beat or your time signature. Okay, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna select the tracks. I want these here. I think just up to six. I don't think there was anything on these two tracks. And as you see, as I do that, it marks the little area that we got there. Now, what I wanna do with my virtual track is come up here and I'm gonna change this to one, two. So it's going to put it on virtual track number two, which is an awesome tool on this machine. Oh, wrong one there. Let's go this way. Okay, so we've got everything on two there. Now let's go back here, and I'm going to just try and copy this. We'll go up to SC five times just to see. Okay. One other thing now, the two, we want to see, it's asking us where we want to put it. And it's going to put it right where this timeline is here. So I'm going to move this back over here since I'm basically starting a new project on the number two virtual tracks. And let's see, I'm just going to go ahead and put it right, yeah, about right there on that count. Then I'm going to hit the two button and you'll see it brought it in right there. Okay, so got everything set, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit OK, region copy, yes. You notice nothing happened, and a little arrow came up here saying that there's information there, but nothing happened to our original, which is what I want. I don't wanna mess this one up. Of course, it is digital, I could always reload it, but it's not the point. Okay, so now we come over here, and if you look, you see this little mark right here that's saying that there's information on there which is good. So, I'm gonna change them all to two. All up to two, and I'm gonna go ahead and change these ones here, even though there wasn't nothing on it. Okay. So as you see, we're all on two, and we have our partitions here where it sectioned each one off, gave us five copies of that piece. Now let's listen and see 
how clean of a cut we got. Basically, we have this project we can cut up, dice up, do whatever, and not mess up our original, which we have still over here. So, yeah, but I'm gonna mess around with this a little bit, so I'm gonna keep it over here and play around and see what I can do. But that's uh, just one of the features of the virtual tracks. Really cool tool. Get to know it, it's a lot of fun. And uh, thanks for joining me again. And remember, get your music out there. Let it play. Who cares what they have to say? Until next time, thank you for joining me. Peace out. <laughs>